This is everything I did to get an A star in A level biology. I'm going to first share my top tips for biology and second share my four step revision process. So my first piece of advice would be to make sure you know how to approach different styles of questions. Recall or describe just wants you to list information. Explain means use the words this is because or this means that and evaluate means that you should have a for and against argument or points for both sides. I know the application questions are difficult but there's only so many types of questions they can ask you. What I did was always learn the mark scheme and always look for patterns. One pattern is when there is a question asking you to evaluate the use of x for y. Most of the time the mark scheme will talk about the following. The more questions you do and the more mark schemes you read the better you will get. I wanted to stress that understanding a topic is better than memorizing. An example is understanding each step of water reabsorption in the loop of Henley. If you just memorize the facts like the loop of Henley reabsorbs water you might struggle to answer this question on screen. You could apply your knowledge instead and realize that a longer loop of Henley creates a steeper concentration gradient which allows more water to be reabsorbed which reduces water loss. For longer processes like transcription and water reabsorption drawing diagrams can help. This is because when you visually see that process and organizing that information within a diagram makes it easier to see relationships and helps develop understanding and with a better understanding you will be able to answer those application questions. I know the mark schemes can be really specific but wait until my four step revision process to find out how I dealt with that. The maths marks seem tough, but in my opinion, they're some of the easiest marks to get once you understand the method. With every maths question you get wrong, ask your teachers how to approach that question. Use your previous mocks or exams to help structure your revision. Look at what topics you lost more marks on and plan to revise those topics in the near future. With regards to the essay, I'd recommend planning essay titles by thinking about what topics you would mention and then do some blurting for those topics. There should also be at least four paragraphs in your essay and you should only write about things that were in A level and do not write anything that you were taught at GCSE. If you want to link paragraphs together, try use these phrases on screen. Asking AI to help learn how to link paragraphs could be the play as well. So if I had an essay about membranes and wanted to link phagocytosis and absorption of glucose, AI recommended this sentence to put in between the paragraphs. You also need to clearly explain the importance of what you're writing about. Have the phrase, the importance of this is, and you could also think about what would happen if there was something wrong with the process you've mentioned. Again you could use AI to help you with this. And also have a look at the examiner's report to see common mistakes students make with the essay. Everyone studies the same content but the top students use better resources. PMT is the main resource I used as they've got notes, flashcards and questions for each topic. They've also got notes, risk assessments and questions on practicals which might help you if you need to do any write-ups or need to learn about controls, variables and errors. And here's the YouTube channels I'd recommend. I only watched videos when the PMT notes did not make sense to me. I also used the textbook to go through how the course was structured and also used it to go over any weak topics because I knew there were some topics that I didn't completely know what the exam board wanted from me. So I went through each topic in the contents page and asked myself if I knew what the topic was about. I went to each chapter of any topic I didn't like, looked at the learning objectives and made these notes using the textbook to answer each objective to help make each topic clearer in my mind. Those were my top tips but I now want to share with you my four step revision process for biology. In lessons, if there was anything that did not make sense, I would ask questions about it to make sure I did understand it. It sounds simple, but I know that you don't ask enough questions when something doesn't make sense to you. The more questions you ask, the more your understanding will increase and the more information you can apply to questions to get marks. The lessons gave me an introduction to the content, but then I would consolidate the information in the same week by making notes using PMT's detailed notes. I even made notes from the first week of A-levels. This is because biology has a lot of content compared to other STEM subjects. So if you don't review it quickly, it's easy to forget and fall behind. I use PMT because their notes are based on the specification, so I don't need to worry about missing content. When making my notes, I made sure that I did not just copy word for word. I first read PMT's notes, and if it made sense to me, then I wrote it down in my own words. If something did not make sense, I wouldn't just memorize it. I'd watch a video or check the textbook to actually understand it. Or if there was a word that I didn't understand, it's important to look up what the word means instead of memorizing it to help you understand the topic in general. If I don't know what supernatant or homogenized means, then I can't fully understand the process of cell fractionation, so can't get those application questions and marks correct. And most students think that notes are to be read, but I felt like making notes helped me organize the content and help me understand each topic. The next time I would revise would be before an end of topic test. I would go through the questions on PMT and the textbook the day before the test 
list and it's important that when you do not get full marks for a question don't get angry about how specific the mark scheme is as these are the exact words the examiners want use it as an opportunity to learn because you need to be ready if a similar question comes up on the test i first understood the mark scheme and then second added the marking points in black ink all over my notes to help me remember the mark scheme if the mark scheme did not make sense then i would get my teacher to explain it after you get the end of topic test back i made a collection of notes specific to my mistakes in the end of topic test to help consolidate them after that test we would move on to the next topic and repeat the process of understanding and asking questions and lessons and then making more notes and then revising for the topic test and then eventually i would need to revise for mocks and summer exams it would have been a while since i revised the earlier topics in the year so what i did was use the flashcards and pmt to review each topic for these big exams these flashcards go through almost everything you need to know and since it's a q a it tests whether or not a piece of information is in your memory when i got a flashcard wrong i made these rough notes of the answers to help remember it if you're getting lots of flashcards wrong on a topic then it would help if you stop doing the flashcards and take some time relearning the content by watching videos and then maybe repeating the questions after the flashcards i would do past papers for every question you don't get full marks on in the paper understand the mark scheme and write it down it trains you to think like the examiner it also helps to check the examiner's report to see a better explanation to the mark scheme look for past paper walkthroughs on youtube or ask your teacher about any questions you get stuck on to help understand the question and its mark scheme for next time if a similar question comes up on your exam here's a summary of how i revised but my final tip for you is that i wanted to mention my six step past paper framework this helped me use past papers effectively and you can learn the framework in this video here